In this video, we will give you a demo of OBD Pi. The hardware required is as follows. A Raspberry Pi. An SD card with pre-installed OBD Pi software. An OBD2 Bluetooth adapter. A USB Bluetooth dongle. A 2 amp car supply slash switch or a micro USB car charger. And finally, an RCA cable. Now let's head over to the vehicle for the installation process. Now that we are inside the vehicle, let's begin the installation process. First check to see if your vehicle complies with the OBD2 standards. OBD2 has been mandated in the US since 1996. Vehicles that comply with the OBD2 standards will have a data connector within two feet of the steering wheel. Insert the OBD2 Bluetooth adapter into the 16-pin connector. Second, insert the USB Bluetooth dongle into the Raspberry Pi, along with the SD card containing the pre-installed OBD Pi software. Third, connect your RCA cable to the back of your aftermarket head unit and plug the other end into your Raspberry Pi. Fourth, install your 2-amp car supply slash switch or micro USB car charger. This will give you power to the Raspberry Pi. Finally, turn the key to the on position and navigate your head unit to auxiliary output. Once the Raspberry Pi is finished booting, enter your login credentials and run StartX to enter the desktop environment. Next, launch Blues, which is a Bluetooth stack for Linux. Pair and trust your OBD2 Bluetooth adapter and connect to Serial Port Profile Dev. Serial Port Profile defines how to set up virtual serial ports and connect two Bluetooth enabled devices. You should see the notification Serial Port Connected to RFCOM0. Finally, open up Terminal and run the OBD Pi code. Once the program is loaded, the driver can cycle through the modes of the display.